Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, we're going to talk about welcome email series. So when a subscriber enrolled to your list, you want to send them a series of automated email, which is known as welcome email series. And with sendmes.io, you can create an email automation series so that it will trigger only when a new subscriber is enrolled into your list. So let's see how do we do that in action. So first of all, you need to head over to your automation tab and then click on add new and this is where you can create a new welcome automation series so i'm going to just click over here and this is where i need to choose the list so that whenever someone is enrolled to my list i will start the automation from that very place so i'm just going to click on confirm and then i'm going to name it as welcome automation series and then i'll click on get started so this is my brand new welcome automation series, which is only going to trigger when someone is subscribed to my mailing list, right? And then I will wait for some time. Let's say I don't want to send emails immediately. Then I can keep a wait of one minute, one hour, one day, whatever you want. So let's keep a wait of one hour. Whenever someone is subscribed to our email list, we'll have a delay of one hour. And then we can go ahead and send them our first email. And for that, we just need to click on send an email where you can design your email. For example, here we can type the subject as welcome to my email list. The name is going to be your name and the email from which you want to send your email, which you're going to put over here. And then the reply to email, you can put the same thing over here. Or if you want to change that, you can do that as well. Now, if you want to track the opens, clicks, then you can check all these features, then set your custom tracking domain and click on save and next. That's it. And this is where you can either upload an existing email template that you have created in a previous email marketing platform, or if you want to create a new email template, then you can do it from here. So I'm just going to take a blank template and then I have an option to choose from Email Builder Pro or Email Builder Classic. Classic is going to give you a very simple and easy to use email builder, but I'm going to use Email Builder Pro so that we have that drag and drop feature over here. We are getting the drag and drop email builder over here. Now using this drag and drop email builder, we can easily design our uh, email from here. We can put the text that we want to put over here. We can put the video over here, right? And we can personalize the email as well. We can personalize the email by putting the subscriber's first name on the top. Hi, and then we can put the subscriber first name over here. This macro is going to be replaced by the first name of the subscriber. So using this, you can send a very personalized email to, to the subscriber who have enrolled into your list. And it's not just the name, but you can personalize whatever column you would want. For example, if they have put in their industry, you can personalize your email with those column as well over here. Now, once you're done, you can check whether it is looking good on the tab and the mobile version as well. And after that, if you want to make any customization, you can do that or you can just click on save and close. So this is going to be my email content. And then I'm going to click on next and I can send a test email to myself. But as of now, I'm just going to click on close. So this is my very first email that I've just set up over here. Now we can set up a tracking whether someone have opened our previous email or not. And for that, we can put an evaluation for subscribers clicking on a link or a subscriber reading the email. So since we have not put in any link, we are not going to get an option to choose that link. But if we do put a link inside our email copy, then we'll be getting an option to choose that link as well. But as of now, we just uh, we're just going to use subscriber read an email and then if a subscriber has read our welcome to my email list email then we're going to send the email and we're just going to wait for one day to for the subscriber to read our email so i'm just going to click on ok and if the user does read our previous email within a day then we are going to be sending him this email so here you can design your new email and 
you know you can do the same process over and over again besides sending email there are a bunch of other options as well for example you can assign a tag so if the user doesn't open your email and you want to assign a tag then head over to operation and click on tag contact and here you can name it whatever you want so let's say i'm just going to name it test tag and i click over here and i can save that so whenever user doesn't open my email he's going to get this tag known as test tag now if i want to add more operation i can do that from here we can also keep a track of the link click as well for that we'll have to place a link inside our email body so how do we do that we can open our email content which is this one and here we need to add some link so i'm just going to add one link over here i'm just going to place a link so the link that we'll be putting over here is going to be for sendmails.io and then i click save click on save close that's it right now if we want to set an automation for if someone have clicked our link we can do that as well so i'm just going to click on evaluate a condition click on a link and here i can choose the link which was sendmails.io so if someone clicks on my link sendmails.io i can send them a very specific email over here so that way you can create a very personalized email automation using the triggers and these checks that you have in the place so that's it for today if you have any question about welcome automation series drop it down in the comment and in the next videos we'll be seeing other features of automation triggers see you in the next one